Putin replaced Shoigu from Defense Minister position to support protracted war in Ukraine. ISW. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, believes that Russian leader Vladimir Putin is making replacements, including in the Russian Defense Ministry, to step up preparations for a protracted war in Ukraine and possibly preparing for a future confrontation with NATO. Putin replaced Sergei Shoigu with Andrei Belusov as the Russian Defense Minister on the 12th of May, transferring Shoigu to the position of Secretary of Russia's Security Council to replace Nikolai Patrushev. ISW believes that these high-level reshuffles following the presidential elections in Russia convincingly indicate that Putin is taking significant steps toward mobilizing the Russian economy and defense industrial base to support a protracted war in Ukraine and possibly prepare for a future confrontation with NATO. The ISW added that Belusov's nearly decade-long tenure as an economy minister in the Russian government and his recent involvement in managing various innovative domestic defense industry and drone projects has prepared him well to lead the Russian Defense Ministry apparatus, which is currently in a challenging position. Belusov has a stronger reputation for being an effective technocrat, and insider sources have claimed that he has a positive relationship with Putin, the report stated. The ISW added that replacing Shoigu with Patrushev as the Secretary of the Security Council aligns with Putin's overall policy of quietly displacing high-ranking security officials by giving them peripheral roles in the Russian security sphere instead of simply dismissing them. The ISW noted that previously Putin similarly sidelined his underperforming generals by appointing them to peripheral security and defense related positions outside the direct chain of command, sometimes allowing them to redeem themselves and return to Putin's favor. In addition to Patrushev's dismissal, Putin mostly reshuffled the heads of the major Russian security services, indicating that he retains a, co a core of loyal security officials. Hours of heavy rain swept torrents of ash and rocks down Mount Merapi, the most active volcano in Sumatra. The mudslides inundated two districts, swept people to their deaths and damaged more than 100 homes, mosques and public facilities. Abdul Malik, head of the search and rescue agency in provincial capital Pandang, told reporters that the bodies retrieved included two children, a three-year-old and an eight-year-old. We are focused on first, searching and rescuing the victims, second, protecting the evacuees, protecting the vulnerable people," he said. West Sumatra Governor Mahieldi Ancharola told reporters that around 130 people had evacuated to an elementary school in Agam, while more than 2,000 people were evacuated to several places in Tana Datar. The cold lava flow, known in Indonesia as a lahar, came from Mount Merapi, one of Sumatra's most active volcanoes. Heavy rains inundated neighborhoods with muddy flood waters and swept vehicles into a nearby river, while volcanic ash and large rocks rumbled down Mount Merapi. The local government set up evacuation centers and emergency posts in several areas of Agam and Tana Datar. The area around Mount Merapi has seen several similar disasters in the past six months. Last December 5, 23 hikers were killed when the volcano erupted while in February this year, flash floods damaged dozens of homes in the Tana Datar.
izin melaporkan kami lagi di Suli. Aduh, 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 aduh. 